What's going on, y'all? Thanks for tuning in again. Peace to everybody who's watching. Um, this talk, I want to talk about how to become a leader. This is something where I'm kind of coming from a more sports perspective, but that can fit in any situation. Um, I, should I say good leader? I think the better way to say it is good leader. I say that because I think everybody, in my opinion, um, are leaders. I think when you when you think about just being a leader, you're influencing the people around you. Um, I come from a more energy perspective where, you know, just your energy, just your aura is influencing those who are around you, especially when you talk about a team, people that you see every single day that y'all are all going for one specific goal. And, you know, that aura, you can tell when you're walking by somebody or you're talking to somebody, you don't get that good feeling, like you're just your intuitive nature is not filling their energy. You know, people exude, they, they, they let out certain energies. You know, and you can be a leader just by simply having the right energy. Because you got people that lead you down the wrong path. I mean, they're leaders in their own sense. But when you talk about being a teammate and being a good leader on a team, you want to always carry yourself with that energy, that positive energy. It's, it's, it's all about putting yourself in the right frame of mind every time you come to work or come to practice or come into your team environment no matter when it's hard, no matter when you really don't feel like it. To be a leader, you have to you have to be that positive energy. You can never really be on the other side of it where you're complaining about what's going on. Even if you truly, truly, truly can't stand it, you know it ain't right, you have to be the one that, um, that, that gives people that right uh, energy in order for everybody to succeed in the day and everyone getting better. You know, you also need to you don't need to be the, the most vocal person. I mean, I, I, I was never the most vocal person um, giving a whole bunch of rah-rah speeches and all that. That's not something that um, really fit more to my personality. You know, what I would do, a lot of it was leading by example. And people say that all the time, you know, but just simply showing up every day, being accountable, and, and having somebody that young players, people underneath me, or even the, the older players can always look to me and know that they can count on me, knowing that I was gonna bring that positive energy wherever I went, wherever I go. Uh, and, and, ever, and other people feel that. Other people feel that. As soon as they come to me or, you know, somebody like that who, is trying to bring that positive energy with those negative uh, statements. You know, I don't feel like this. Man, I'm hurt right now. You know, all these different things that just kind of brings down the whole mood as soon as it happens. You know, I try to get myself, get myself away from it. So to be a leader, you don't need to be necessarily the best player. You just simply need to be able to influence the team around you, the group around you. Everybody that's in that team has the same goal in mind. So just be one of those people that gives everyone else around them that that energy every single day. And you are a leader at that point. So I appreciate you listening. Thanks again. You know, you can tune in, click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. Until next time, clocking out. Peace.